filming a quick little video today while I'm out here walking Jupiter. Um, not too long ago, I ended up getting a test for brucellosis uh, for my kennel. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if I even made a YouTube video about it. I know I posted on other social media platforms about it, but I'm not sure if I did on uh, YouTube. But anyways, it came back negative. Uh, but man, I I, this, I got super scared once the uh, the vet brought it up. Um, there there's another uh, bully person here in Kentucky that ended up uh, having it, and she was telling me that you know that they ended up having to you know kill all the dogs. Um, it's something I can't remember the correct term. It's like something zoo phallic or something like that. In other words, it can pass from dogs to humans. Um, and, uh, uh, so pretty much, you know, she lost everything. Um, and, you know, I, I was like, oh, I'm not even worried about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm safe, you know, because, you know, I know it causes, uh, dogs that have miscarriages. It makes dogs sterile, uh, male sterile. And I'm like, you know, all my, all my males, you know, have had puppies. Um, uh, what else? Um, uh. Uh, it makes the females have abortions, which I've never had an abortion um, on any of my letters ever. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'm not worried about that. And then I was like, you know, I, I heard about it and I was like, you know, dogs can only catch it through intercourse. So I thought and she was like, no, she was like, it can pass through. For instance, if a dog licks another dog, it can pass through urine. It can pass. It, it's even been documented to pass through the air. So I'm like, you, this is crazy. Like. So you telling me all these people that go to dog shows, like, aren't worried about their dogs getting infected? I mean, maybe it's so un so rare to to catch or to see that it, it just blew my mind, you know? Because I'm like, man, you know, I do plan on showing, but when I do show, like, I'm gonna keep that dog separated. That dog's gonna have to live. Which is crazy to me, because it's like, man, you can have a dog that's worth millions of dollars and go to a show, and then you telling me it can catch, you know, brucellosis, canine brucellosis. So, it just made me look a whole lot different, you know, because all it takes is to catch it one time, and, you know, if you got a kennel, man, all your dogs can get it, you know, and you pretty much lose everything. So, I would definitely suggest people, you know, get your dogs tested for brucellosis. They sell kits uh, online for, I want to say, $65 for five tests. Um, and you can get results pretty quick. You know, my, my test, they ended up having it shipped out, and it took, like, five days. Boy, was that a humbling five days, me sitting down just thinking about, man, I could lose everything, you know. And, uh, but my point is this, uh, pretty much, you know, when I do, when I do breedings, I will no longer allow two dogs to come in contact. Pretty much, you're going to see me pull my stud, I'm going to be over there, you're going to have your female over here, and then I'm, I'm going to come to you, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want them to nowhere near each other, um, you know, just for the simple fact that I just now learned how freaking easily it is to, to to catch brucellosis so you know yeah so go ahead i guess in the comments below man tell you tell me your experience have you ever met a dog with brucellosis because i haven't um thank god like i said my kennel is safe um because it, my, my dogs pretty much they all come in contact with each other at some point or another so you know it, it, it would spread very quickly um and then as i like i said after that i started doing my own research online and and uh I, I've seen other stories. There was a woman. She's been breeding, not not bullies. She was breeding another breed for 16 years. She was working on a specific strain that she ended up, you know, doing, and she ended up purchasing a male that had brucellosis and didn't know it, and her whole yard caught it, bro. And then the thing is, too, man, just think of this. So. Your dogs come up positive with brucellosis. Not only do you lose everything, you have to kill them. Like, bro, I was sitting back and I was like, can I kill Jupiter? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 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 it was just, it was just, it was, it was eye-opening, dude. And very, you know, I, I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I thought it was only Pat during the course. Because I told him, I was like, man, I'm good. You know, like, I AI all my dogs. I don't, my dogs don't have, you know, don't 
can't even breathe naturally. Mr. 45 probably could, but I don't let him. Um, but Guap can't, freaking Red Bull can't, Hondo can't, Gentleman Jack can't. You know, I, I know because I've let them out with females that are in heat and they're just trying, trying, trying and nothing happens. But Mr. 45, he's, he's taller. He, he's he's more, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think he, he probably definitely could. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, but yeah, so it was, you know, you know, not only do you have to, you lose everything, but you have to kill all your dogs. Like that is, that is just, that is just devastating. You know, you look at your dog and, and, and think if it's healthy, it looks healthy and strong, and then all of a sudden, you just got to take it to the vet and get it euthanized. Like, really? Could you do that? You know what I'm saying? And just imagine every single dog you have, you know, you have to take to get euthanized because you can't keep them alive because it can spread to humans. And it is it is very difficult to get rid of in humans. Um, they said, you know, it can get rid of, you know, it can go away in six months, six weeks sometimes months and then it reoccurs it causes all kind of issues um you know it can same thing it can make men go sterile it can make women have abortions it, it causes fevers uh, uh back pains muscle muscle uh, joint issues a, a lot of stuff in humans um so i was just like what the heck man like i don't know if the vet just did that just to scare me to get the test done or what the case was but i was like what i, I did not know about this but um with that being said man great go bully camp baby signing off